give a brief quick background of uh, my my entrepreneurial history before I get into the whole uh, the negativity and how I managed to drive through it and actually stand in this stage and have the guts to call myself the Sadhatapya. I will go back to the, uh, the roots of my entrepreneurship. So I, up to now I found about nine companies. Most of you know about Kaproka and Java Launch and Grasshoppers and a few others. But you know, I'm a serial entrepreneur. Every two years, when things settle down in the last company, I have this urge to either break it and expand the existing company or start another company. So uh, it used to be Kaproka. I started this with about $400 in the hand uh, with just a single laptop. Up to today, never walk into a bag, never borrowed a single cent, built that whole company which $100 million to make with its own profits. This was built from scratch. <laughs> if anybody sees an incident, it's in e commerce. The, uh, the diff most difficult and the most expensive part, part is customer acquisition. To get a customer, you usually have to spend about 20, 30 top line of your top line to get a customer, and e commerce customers are not loyal. That's the most click away they go to somebody else. So, how I built Kapuka was about how we marketed it. Marketed it from day one without losing your shirt, without spending 30% of, you know, purely at the beginning and uh, except for this last incident, we used a lot of controversies in our way. So this is, if you call negative marketing campaign about ditching and you know, making uh, bad mouthing other brands. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about using controversy, the power of controversy in your favor, and it needs a lot of luck. You, you can really destroy it if you don't, if you are not able to navigate to the right way, but I'm getting it. Okay. So, like I said, seven companies, right? Or seven or nine, nine now, but there is always one company that is so close to your heart, one brand that is so close to your heart. The three entrepreneurs in front of me have those companies. They have a lot of other businesses, but there is one that is very close to your heart, and that's like the Lokuta or your favorite kid. If, if you ask somebody who has five kids, pick your favorite. They have a friend. They don't tell you, they have a friend. Right? So, last year, same time, I remember CAA walking into my office room with cameras and telling that couple of is selling 7, 10, or 550 rupees when it should, there's a number new control price at some 300 something. That's almost like me coming and picking that water bottle. And say it's printed 180 rupees. Why is it not selling 200 rupees? Since you know. So there's too much of working behind it. It was, uh, it was very tempting for me to you know, react right at the beginning. But coming back, what happened? I said that I'm the kingdom. I am the patient. Here's the brand making the gun. Everybody's asking me, why the hell were you in front of that video? You could have just walked away. This is a simple pricing matter. You have 1,000 employees in this company. You can blame it on a, a capital manager. Why are you in front of this? What were you doing in the video? Is not anybody asked me. I asked that myself. It's the love that we have this brand. This is like your child. Right? If, if your child is getting blagarded by your principal, what does it happen? A natural mother will stand in front. That's what happened. So I was in front. I was not trying to, you know, walk away and kind of. I, 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 sometimes, I, a hundred times, I wished. Why was I? I went strong. But then it, I justified to myself. I was. It's, it's the love that I have the brand. That's what happened. So everybody, you know, the whole country got, saw the video. I was one of the first to go down the flames during the COVID uh, thing. Uh, it was. Uh, I'm sure everybody here would have ordered this at least ten people, right? And it, it's. It, it, it became extremely wide. If you actually have the price tag on it, it's a billion rupee daily campaign of marketing going for five days. Simple as that. Now, my challenge was what do I do? I did three things going back. One, 
I did not react. Now, I really want to tell that water bottle story on, on news. You say this is calling me, wanting interviews, so many people wanting interviews, and so many friends giving advice. Everybody's advice was, Dhulit, take higher ground. Take higher ground and explain what happened. Take control, don't let these people. I did not do anything. I did not try to take higher ground. Because people are sensitive, you got to, you know, you show emotional intelligence at this point to understand that people are, you know, going through something, so this is not the time that you should take high ground. I just stay silent. Stay silent is tough, especially when you know you have so much to say about this problem, right? And especially when you know your, your, your brand is getting better. So I, I practice silence a lot. I even went and read a book about um, when you are publicly humiliated. It's a big old seller, best seller book. But when somebody is publicly humiliated, what? He did, he taught me a few things, but anyway, that's how I, 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 I gave my patience. Second thing, I change the optics of how I look at it. Okay, how do I, so one example. Um, so, make a villa, pretty I went to work. Right? 18 hours straight, I showed no difference. I didn't, I didn't take a bit of a risk. It was like, okay, I had this damage, it's, it's going down the flames, I'm going to rescue this. I was working my ass off. But, I remember one day coming home, this was the third day I think, and my daughter, she's 14, uh, she was in tears. She showed me that uh, in one of her groups, there was a set of images, I think 30 images of me in 30 different hairstyles. Okay, so these are memes, right? And she, she was in tears. She said, look, I mean, why are these people doing this? She knows what kind of person I am and she did not have a response. So I said, come here, sit here. Can you pick your favorite hairstyle for me? And there was a smile in his face. It's all about how I looked at it. It's all about the perception of how, when I got into this state, I called myself the name. It's about how I looked at it. I looked at it that way, and, and that gave me so much of confidence. Look, this is the way to, I saw that smile. And I kept practicing that how feels everything. And the third point is when this happens to you, all of you and most of the online viewers will be entrepreneurs. So the last thing happened to me, tomorrow it could be one of you. Right? There's so much to learn from this. Now, if you are the leader in a war, you are that guy in that post in the front line, the moment you show the slightest weakness, your entire troop. And they can read between lines. Your staff can read between lines. They can look at your body language. They can look at your face and see if the boss is okay or not. So you cannot really fake it. You've got to really be confident in yourself. I had arrows from my back, but I still stayed up, showed the whole team that look, I am with you guys. Even the team leader will come and say, sir, you are going to Like that's that's the sentiment everybody has. But if you you if you Show the slightest weakness, it will be a ripple effect. It's, 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 it's going to keep falling off one by one. The first uh, circle to protect is your, your, your workforce. The carpos is very important. That, that workforce has to have confidence on your leader. Second is your loved ones. And third, your family is going to be It goes down. And then you become on So, three things I said. Okay? First thing, patience. Okay? Keep your own shot. I didn't do I didn't give a single interview for three weeks. And then it cooled down, you know, so to store. And the uh, second is the optics. You know, my daughter, think about that. Third is stay strong to show your team that the leadership is there. Like the moment the leadership cracks, everything cracks. So those three things is what I did. Now I'll quickly, for four more minutes, talk about the power of controversy. Now, controversy power is like, it's like nuclear power. You can destroy a whole country if you abuse this or if you mess it up. Or you can power a whole country. With one rod of nuclear power, you can do this. Amazing. But it's about how you handle the power, how you harvest that power. Same as nuclear power. Same thing. It's about how the way that you harvest it. If you harvest it right, 
you can really use it to a, uh, to a, to a different level. Now there was one thing, now I said now that those three things only when I did that, there was this one thing that kept my hold on. Atuka orders were rising. That kept me running. Because I could see I'm a big data fan, so I'm always on the, on the connected to the, 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 the stats. All this is going on, everybody's ditching the brand, everybody's ditching me. Sales are running. Traffic is all the like it's like it's it, 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 thousand five hundred times, uh, uh, thousand five hundred percent. The traffic was running. so there was something wrong. They are not wrong, all right. I mean that was that negative energy really creating the hype and creating tailwind behind your brand. So that kept me going. That I knew, look, everything is looking bad, but still look. Customers are coming in, they are buying more stuff, they are more visibility to the site. So that is again coming back, it's like no paper. Now, the second point about harvesting uh, controversy if you create something successful, Harpos, Spasi Law, you have given you pain. If you create something so strong, there will always be a hate group. Okay? What the hate group back then there is nothing successful. Even Buddhism, Lord Buddha, everything has a hate group. Now that hate group is what's going to really drive your controversy. So you got to know the psyche of the hate group and be okay with it. And be okay and come to terms with it. And learn how to deal with that hate group and give them what they need. They will do the hard work for you. And the second point is. There is professional jealousy. Wait. Everybody has asked this. If somebody has says, I have no professional jealousy about my company, you have bullshit it. Right? I have it, everybody has it. Some way or the other. you have a professional jealousy. So the moment these kind of controversies happen, naturally, human behavior, we kind of know. That's what really fools you to maybe share it or you know, make a comment about it, it happens. So that's, that's what I'm saying is don't take it very personal. You would have done, I would have done the same thing to somebody else. So I could look, look at it that way. That in a more mature manner and manage to do it. Now, last point I would say is look, it's very easy to screw up something and say sorry. That's one thing. Saying sorry is one thing. But actually doing something to correct that mistake, genuinely, wholeheartedly, is something else. It's two separate things. Saying sorry and actually doing something about it. So all what I said up to now is from here. My thinking, all that, that's brain power. But actually fixing things, what went wrong. So looking at the actual essence seed of the controversy. And see, yes, there is something wrong. Let me also try to fix that. Thank you. Fantastic indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Mr. Philip Hera once again. Come on, put your hands together. Talk about embracing adversity and changing the context of the entire game, right?